Hey kid, wanna help out a fellow traveler? <laughs> no, I wanna help out them fellow brains. Ha ha ha. I'm funny. I make good jokes. <laughs> what, what is that? It is the Pew Pew Pew. A fine model. Very powerful. Homemade. It's a powerful homemade gun. I mean, pew pew pew. How awful. I know, right? I, I know. Hey there, fellow brains, and welcome to a game called My Uncle Merlin. So this is an indie game that I found on Alpha Beta Gamer, and I will leave a link to the uh, Kickstarter page in the description below. Uh, it seemed like a pretty interesting uh, game with a mix of uh, space exploration, RPG, and some uh, narrative-driven sequences as well. And I, I watched the Kickstarter video that they put up and the, the, the team, the dev team behind My Uncle Merlin also seemed like a pretty cool uh, bunch of people. So I decided to try this game out and see what they have in the demo. For the purposes of this video, in in the, for this demo at least, I'm gonna play in normal mode. I get to give voices. I like this. Mm. So uh, this is Uncle Merlin. So Eddie, for the last few years you've been here. There's no denying that you've proven yourself. I feel like I can trust you. Is that a good voice for him? Maybe. I don't know. Thank you for saying that, Uncle Merlin. Your other uncles and I have decided that you are ready. For, for what? To slay the Elder Dragon. I don't know, maybe. Ready for what? See? See, I'm one with Eddie. We are one with Eddie. He asks the same questions I have to ask. You see, this building is not just the Royal University for arcane arts and traffic safety. Traffic safety? It is also a vault, and we are its guardians. When did this become Borderlands? <laughs> what are we guarding, Uncle Merlin? You are guarding the Elder Dragon. I don't know why I'm stuck with the Elder Dragon right now. Um, all kinds of mag magical, all kinds of magical artifacts that could cause great havoc. If only they found themselves in the wrong hands. That's over there, that little thing over there, is the purple pearl. The purple pearl? Uh, the art style is also pretty cool. Um, what does it remind me of? At least, I think Eddie kind of reminds me... I don't know why it reminds me of Pinstripe? If you guys know the game, uh, I don't know what it, what it is. Something about him reminds me of that game. The purple pearl, a gift from the gods. We've never dared to use it. Surely, even an apprentice like you must feel the amount of power it holds. Yeah, I can feel it, Uncle Merlin. I can feel it. Is there some kind of a uh, Rick and Morty thing going on here? You know, where Uncle Merlin's Rick and Eddie's little Morty. That is why we must protect it at all costs. Imagine the evil forces wielding it. What the hell is that guy doing there? <laughs> they could devastate armies in a blink. He's gonna steal it, isn't he? Yeah, I know he's gonna steal it. He's gonna plop down, pick it up, and go, and he's like, the purple pearl. <laughs> oh, hello. They could trample numbers under their tyrannical foot. Oh, it went. Bye, hi, bye. <laughs> they could even break the whole universe. Oh god damn it! Oh wait. Oh god damn it, Eddie! I knew I couldn't trust you! Follow that pearl! What? Well, you didn't tell me I had to protect it yet! It was under your protection! God damns it, Uncle Merlin! <sighs> I can just press space, okay. Now, Eddie, get that idiot dragon! We are going after them! The, the Elder Dragon? Is it the Elder Dragon? I want it to be the Elder Dragon. Is it just a purple dragon then? Because it seems like everything's purple around here. I'm not wearing any. Is he talking about a dragon? Why is he wearing a dragon? Improvise! We're about to take off! 
I, I don't know what that was. What, why is he not? Why is he not wearing any dragon? And how is that a problem? I, I don't know. <laughs> Quit whining! It wasn't that bad. Is that a rocket? And it's gone. <laughs> but wasn't that that bad? I don't know. I think I'm losing all the voices again. So let's try it again. Well, you hyped it up for me. Darn it! I can't see them. That blasted thief could have gone too. F couldn't have gone too far. We need to find that peril before something terrible happens. Where should we look? Who do we ask? Everywhere and everyone. I hope you're up to the task, little Eddie boy, because I need to lie, lie down a bit. This excitement is bad for my heart. <coughs> wait, 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 you, you want me to fly the towel? What? Fly the towel? Oh, I think I remember in the Kickstarter video. You fly a tower that's powered by a dragon? The elder dragon. Or the purple dragon, whichever. Let me see your flying license. Damn it. So difficult being a normal little boy in space. It's a, you hand your license to your uncle. He frowns a bit at it and mumbles something into his chin. You don't have your BDSM. What the hell? What? Oh, uh, my, my boy? Your body, soul, and mind scores. Oh, okay. Uh, you got them when you took the flying test, remember? I, I com the accent's completely gone now. Like, the voice I gave him was completely gone. Damn it. Uh, when you took the flying test, remember? Uh, of course I do. I took the flying test. I should know those scores. It's my body, mind, and... So scores, yeah, I got a hundred percent on all of them because I'm one with my body, mind, and soul, or soul and mind, whatever the order. I don't care. I'm a hundred percent in tune with everything. Of course I do. Well, get on to it. Uncle Merlin hands you your license. Thank you, Uncle Merlin. I am forever grateful to you. So, body, soul, and mind. Can we just put whatever? Oh, we have. Three. Is one better than the other? You know what? I'm just gonna go one for each. Can we actually go negative? We can actually go negative, seriously. This opens up all kinds of possibilities. Anyway, I'm gonna go one for each. I have no more ability points left, so I'm guessing you have uh, a progression leveling up or something where you collect ability points or I don't know how that you collect them, but you're able to improve yourself. And for some, maybe, you need negative body, negative soul, negative mind, I don't know, maybe they give you an advantage? I don't know, we'll see. But I'm gonna be positive in all of them, because I'm a positive little boy. <laughs> okay, so, you hand the license back to Uncle Merlin, okay. All around decent, but nothing exceptional. That is so like you, Eddie. Oh, okay, you could be very exceptional in one of them and be... Ugh. In the others. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Actually, those those the scores show versatility in uh, in in uh, in biology, in physics, in uh, trans psychology. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Spare me the story. We have little time to waste. So, get going. Aren't you going to help me just a little bit? Yeah. Come on, man. Tutorials. If you need to talk to me, I'll be right here. Now let me catch my breath. You're forgetting my age. I don't know what your age is. Are you like... 602? Go! You'll be fine. The universe is in good hands. Those last words are turning into a rhythm of an old man snoring. <laughs> I better not wake him up. He looks like he's peaceful now. Maybe he's dead. Maybe he's in this universe dead people snore. He's not dead, he's sleeping. He's, he, he's just sleeping, right? 
It seems you're on your own for now. Well, he did say you can wake him up if you need advice, so at least... Huh, there's that. Uh, you better start looking for that pearl. It's only the safety of the universe on the line. Alright, so... Alright, so there's the tower, uh, powered by a dragon. Uh, okay, that's... Oh, uh, I... Let's talk to Shady. You're very shady. I don't trust this. You are minding your own business, traveling through space, doing basic ship maintenance when... All... Oh, that's not his voice, damn it, sorry. <laughs> when all of a sudden you hear a voice from the darkness. Psst. Hey, kid. Hey, hey, kid. Over here. Got it all. You want it all? Got all the information you need. What did you guys think it was? It was information. God damn it, guys. The metal brush with which you were grooming the dragon <laughs> falls out of your hand. Awesome. Hello. Who's there? A shadowy robed figure comes closer to you, peering out of thin ether. Ooh. Hey kid, wanna help out a fellow traveler? <laughs> no, I wanna help out them fellow brains. Ha ha ha! I'm funny. I make good jokes. <laughs> anyway, my uncle told me not to talk to strangers. Sure. How can I help? Oh, there's more. Oh, can a fellow traveler help me? Hmm. I'm gonna ask him that. Yeah, can you help me? I'll help you, maybe. M maybe. Maybe. You're shady. I don't trust you. You can trust me, but I don't trust you. Best way to help yourself is by helping others, don't you think? Yes. So, you want help, so you can help me, and that way you help yourself. That works out, right? But I really need help. Okay, fine. What's your problem? Fine. Okay, what's your problem? <laughs> My friends have gone missing. I fear something terrible has happened to them. They were last seen somewhere in this area, but the it is just too big. So I figured, if only I had a way of searching the area more efficiently, I would surely find them. Have you notified the authorities? What did you do next? Hmm. What did you do next? Naturally, I... <laughs> Naturally. I went to borrow that telescope floating on a bubble. Interesting telescope. I figured it would help me find them. But that mean old wizard, Nicholas is his name, wouldn't even let me near it. How awful! So, so what can I do? I don't know. Let me be sympathetic to him. Let me make be friends with him. How awful! I know, right? I, I know! So what can I do? I'll tell you what you can't do. You can't reason with that man. No, have I tried. He's not an empathetic. Empathetic? Empathetic individual like you and me. Oh no, he's a mean old jit. His heart is colder than my marital bed. Okay, let's move on. We must do what ha we must do what has to be done. We have to take that telescope, no matter what. Do you think you could do that for me? Sure, I'll get you that telescope. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll be in this area in the case every time. Just come and find me when you get it. Go, go away. I don't want to see you again. <laughs> Wait, I do. Sorry. Goodbye. I'll see you later. <laughs> we never had this talk. Halfway through the last sentence, you could barely even make out a silhouette. We have a fuel meter? We have a fuel meter? I didn't know that. Alright, let's go. Uh, okay, you've heard about the famous bubble telescope, but you haven't been able to see it with your eyes until this moment. On the first glance, you realize where the name comes came from. It's a telescope on a giant bubble. Well, da. <laughs> You're wrong to worry about tapping onto it. The bubble seems pretty steady. Wizard grade materials. Attached to the telescope is an elderly wizard who didn't seem to notice your arrival. K. 
Okay, we can say hello, we can leave, or we can do the uh, very uh, bold option and sneak up to the wizard and push him off the bubble. I don't know if I want to do that. If, if we push him off the bubble, do we? can we take the telescope? I, I It'll increase my body one as well, so it increases my attributes. I think I might do it just just for the laughs, just for the gags, giggles. I, I don't know. <laughs> body, you carefully approach the wizard from behind you, from behind, and give him the push of his lifetime. See, it's this, it's the push of his lifetime. He's gonna have an amazing journey after this. He's gonna go on all these adventures and become the famous wizard who saved the world from boredom. Because he'll make all these amazing stories that everyone will get excited when they hear it. Let's move on. <laughs> With a scream, ha -ha! he tumbles off the bubble. But before he manages to fall very far, he creates another bubble which is now carrying him back to back up to you. Shit. <laughs> Let's take the telescope and run. Quickly, you grab the telescope by the tripod and stumble back into the ship. You can hear the wizard blasting all kinds of offensive spells at you, but luckily your uncle watered the ship tightly, and the spells just disintegrate on impact. While you're drifting away from the bubble, a thought comes to your mind. What have I become? A guy with a bubble telescope? I'm sorry, wizard. I I'm sorry. You seem like a very nice guy. I I'll bring this back to you if I ever get this back from Shady Guy. I don't know why I made friends with Shady and did this. Oh, all right, let's let's see let's see how this goes. Let's try to go back to Shady and see. All right, Shady figure materializes in the same spot where you found him the last time you spoke. Oh, it's you. Did you get the telescope? Uh, I have it right here. Delightful. I knew I could count on you. Whoever said there was no kindness in the world left? Forgot about the space. <laughs> now I'd love to stay and chat, but I need to find my family. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> now I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell this and get a million coins and then become the richest shady guy in the world. Oh, you're, you're still listening. <laughs> good, good luck, family. Weren't you looking for your friends? I messed up. We aren't that close! Huh. His voice fades away as you lose all signs of him. I might have messed up. But that's the uniqueness of my playthrough. Let's go to Zygor. Zygor! Resting in the interplanetary void, an apparition catches your eye with an incandescent glow. From the waist up, the apparition is a bald, masculine figure with a network of veins illuminated by the liquid ember flowing through them. Below that, however, there's only a vortex of pure energy, swirling and sparkling, making you wonder about the reproductive rituals of such a creature. What the heck? <laughs> okay, this is weird. Oh, uh, it's cool. Let's wave to him. Let's say hi. Hi, little guy. A big, big guy. I'm a little guy. Hi. Let's wave. As it looks like you caught the creature's attention, you decided it would be for the best to greet him with a friendly wave. <laughs> Hello there. The figure scans you with his flaming white eyes before speaking to you with a heavy accent. Zygor returns your greeting to you. Zygor is the name given to me by my godfather, Boris. God's rest his soul. He extends his hand towards you expectantly. Uh, shake his hand. His hand is hotter than a kettle of fish soup resting above the campfire. Your knee-jerk reaction is to pull the hand back, but... Ah, Zygor's firm grip is preventing you from doing that. Burning sensation is alleviated by the confusion created by Zygor moving in and kissing you three times on the cheek. This guy is weird, man. <laughs> this guy is weird. Dude. We are friends now. A white grin covers his otherwise harsh face. <laughs> Do you want to play with Zygor now? Play? Like a game? Yes, a game. What kind of game? It is the game Zygor learned from your people. 
It's called Be Truthful or Daring. <laughs> this guy's weird and I like him. I shook the camera. Dang. Okay. Tr truth or dare? Seriously? Nope, not interested. Uh, let, let's see where this goes. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to take a very weird turn soon, but let's see where this goes. Yes, Zygor is very powerful. He can make anything happen. That is why Zygor is very good at this game. You're going to cheat, dude? That's no fun. Wait, what? You can make anything happen. In any case, I'm terribly busy right now. Let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. See where this goes. Zygor is a jinn. We are very powerful. There is no limit to what Zygor can do. Actually, I could go for a great game of truth or dare. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Good. Zygor goes first. Are you truthful or are you daring? Hmm. I go truthful for this. Does Zygor's neck look fat to you? You notice he's extending it extra hard. Well, technically when you extend it, it kind of thins in a, a little, I think. I don't know. Um, hmm. Yeah, it does. I'm going to be truthful. Yes. He exhales slowly. That is all right. A friend wouldn't lie to Zygor. Okay, your turn. Zygor, are you truthful or daring? Zygor is always daring. I dare you to give me the purple pearl. I dare you to transport this ship to the sun. I dare you to give me a lot of gold. I dare you to make me as strong as you are. I dare you to show me who I really am. I dare you to show... I dare you to sh show your knowledge of magic with me. I dare you to make three more Zygors. I dare you to make me immortal. I dare you to make me the most powerful wizard in the universe. I dare you to stick your head in this dragon's mouth. Oh, that's a lot of things. Uh, could I just try this? I'm gonna try this. This could be a... This could end right here, guys. But let's try it. Zygos seems to be struggling with what you said. The... The... Uh, the, the purple pearl. The purple pearl. The stammy brightens up and smiles. Zygor knows what you need. Zygor, go get it for you. Zygor, good magician. He good, good, good. <laughs> he reaches behind him and grabs an object from where his belt should be. W what is that? It is the pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. A fine model. Very powerful. Homemade. Uh, first class. Only a hundred bucks. Hundred gold. That's all. It's a powerful homemade gun. I mean, pew pew pew. <laughs> In his hand, you see a short rhomboid pipe with a leather bound handle and a special compartment that comes out of the main pipe. The hell? Sorry, but uh, I'm not sure I understand. You've never used a pew 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 before. You just pew pew pew. Recalls hurts you a little bit sometimes, maybe. I, I don't know. I only play in video games. Um, and then it shoot things. I go pew. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Where Zygor comes from, children use these. It's very simple. You point it at something, pull this little trigger. He points the device two feet above you and pulls the trigger. A loud bang surprises you and smoke comes out of the barrel. It shoots smoke? Okay. What just happened? Oh yes, it does that. That is why people call it Bang Bang. But Pew 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 is also popular among children. Here, it is yours. I, I We got a Pew Pew Pew. <laughs> That's not a purple purr. <laughs> Thanks? Looks like Zygor fired your bullet. You have to find another before you use it. Be careful with it. Only use it if you want to kill the thing you pointed at. Okay, where can I get this bullet? He just shrugged. Yeah. It's like the uh, Overwatch Reaper shrug. <laughs> just do that. <laughs> some trader must have... Uh, some trader must have some, probably. Tell Zygor one thing. Why did you ask for it? If you don't know anything about it. I didn't! I asked for the purple pearl! Yes, but why? I give up. <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh, man. Zygor wins. Of course he does. I'm disappointed in him. <laughs> oh, but he's great. He's the best character right now. How did you win if we both completed our toss? Uh, yeah, I want to ask that. Yours wasn't as nearly as impressive. Wait a second, why do you get to decide that? Yeah, why do you get to decide that? Zygor has traveled to the edges of reality 
Drink the liquors you'd consider poison. Slept with the beauties you'd consider minerals. Lifted things you'd consider just a bit too heavy. Obviously, you're not qualified to be a judge. Fine. Okay, Zygor, you won. Are you happy now? Yes, don't feel shame. Zygor is better than all of his friends. Now that you've lost, Zygor needs to find a new friend to defeat. If he finds him, send them this way. Will do, Zygor. Will do. I still like him. I just... He's not his friend anymore, apparently. He doesn't like to play. He's truthful or daring with me. You leave the gym learning that the only thing bigger than his biceps is his ego. And to think he was so shy when you first met. Oh, that's great. A gnomish looking figure with hot pink eyes emerges from the tent. Cheap! Cheap! Excuse me? Are you a little bird going cheap? Cheap? Are you, are you, are you a merchant? Cheap! Cheap! You're, you're not telling me if you're a merchant or if you're a little bird. Come on, man. Tell me stuff. Uh, hey, he made the same joke. I told you we are one with Eddie. Spacebar. Oh, <laughs> they're calling it the space bar because of that wooden thing. Okay, let's go here. Bartender. This is the... Oh, <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's awesome. That's that's a nice play on words. Uh, I thought it was just because of the wooden sign that they had, empty sign that looked like a space bar. Uh, but it's a bar. Okay. All right, uh, I've been like, recording for half an hour, so I'm gonna stop the video of this here. This game is amazing so far. This, uh, the characters are pretty unique, and I actually like the characters so far that I've seen. Zygor, Shady, I haven't seen Nicholas much though, and I uh, traded him. <laughs> that was great. And the jokes in this are pretty on point. But thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. That's all for now, and I will see you later, brains. Hey, you move faster. Cool guys. Uh, cool guys too. Yeah, this is cool, cool guys too. <laughs> You cool guys, too. You just stay there, alright? I'll be back for you, Stu. Hey there, fellow brains, and welcome.